Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. It's a lovely sun, sunny day here. Nice and warm in the greenhouse, about 11 degrees outside, but uh, absolutely beautiful. Now today, it's the end of February, isn't it? The last day, 1st of March tomorrow. And the 1st of March is when all my uh, new bark arrives. So then I will be starting to uh, repot the Phragmopediums. Uh, but today, the only thing I'm doing is a bit of watering. I'll show you around and see uh, see how things are going on about the uh, the three uh, the three large plants are split up, and uh, we'll see how they're doing. Well, I've just watered these uh, uh, Dendrocarlum glumaciums, and uh, I split this uh, big plant up. I've got eleven of them now. I thought all the spikes would die off, but no. No, they're doing very nicely. And uh, and they smell absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievable. And I've watered them with uh, RO water with 200 parts per million calcium nitrate and 100 parts per million uh, Epsom salts. Now when I split the cellogeny, I got these four uh, uh, cellogeny glandulosa out of them. So I'm just going to water those now. Well, we'll just get these uh, cellogenies watered. There's only four of them. And they've, got, they've all got fantastic pseudobulbs on them. And nice clean leaves. So uh, I'm quite hopeful of these as well. You know, uh, they make a beautiful white flower, these are very, uh, very fragrant. I've changed the water from, uh, from the others. I poured some out and made some fresh. Exactly the same uh, TDS, around about 400. 300, I think. Now there's 300 parts per million of uh, calcium nitrate and uh, 100 parts per million of uh, Epsom salts. Which is about the right ratio for those two things. So this was about, uh, as I say, I think about 403 when I first started. Uh, and now it's at uh, 412. So uh, that's fine. And here's the last one. Absolutely fantastic suitables on them. So uh, these plants should do very, very well. Yeah, I've put those last four plants over here and uh, until they stop dripping out of the pots there because uh, when it does drip, it'll drip all over the uh, Phragmopediums and I don't want that to happen. You know, I like the Phragmopediums being wet but I never like the leaves to be wet. You know, in case it uh, starts off some rot. And the next two need watering are these uh, ten uh, Chilonastelli sulfuria. So I'll just do them. I'll not do them on video. Well, the only real thing I can show you where there's uh, buds and spikes are concerned is this uh, Phragmopedium cardinale Wilcox. And you can see the spike has just branched there to form another bud. It's already dropped uh, two flowers. And there's a bud there, that's the next one to open. And there's another bud in there, if you can see that one. So I can look forward to another three buds there. These Phragmopediums do bloom for a long time. And I've never known a year like this one where uh, they've been uh, in bloom, or they've been having blooms on and throwing them off and growing more for the last four months. Absolutely fantastic. Well, it's a lovely day, so I've just decided to stop filming now. Nip over to the small greenhouse 
and have a look at the uh, end of February updates and see what's going on there and then I'll come back here and uh, finish this video off. Well I've just nipped down to the uh, small greenhouse and uh, we've been watching a Zoom meeting from uh, the Equigenera and it's been very very good but it keeps going on and off and it's very low so we couldn't tell what they were saying. Anyhow I bore it out for about uh, about three quarters of an hour and then the uh, it went off again so uh, not bothered with it so I thought well I'll go in the greenhouse and just have a look and it looks like she's been splitting her maxillaria very obelisk there it is with all the nice yellow flowers on that's one that's two and that's three she split well, I didn't know she was going to do that. She could have split them big ones for me and saved me the bother. Here she's got her first flowering of the uh, Shilluriana. Looking very nice. Some beautiful buds on it, beautiful uh, flowers on it. Not big, probably about two. Uh, what, two inches wide? That's about it. I believe they do get bigger these as they get older. There's another one here coming into uh, into flower. This is a Violacia alba. There we are, not much colour in that one, by green and white. This is one I've shown you before, the... Uh, Phalaenopsis Renoir, variegated plant, absolutely beautiful leaves on and the uh, plenty and plenty of buds on, just waiting for them to come out. That's one of the spikes. And there's the other one. Absolutely beautiful little uh, blooms on those. This is Phalaenopsis Happy Fang and uh, still plenty of buds on them to come out. Here's a little uh, Phalaenopsis wilsonii, just starting to put a spike out. You can just see it there. And these are very, very lovely when they, uh, when they do flower. Beautiful. Phalaenopsis wilsonii. And she says this Chilolachista, Chilo is it called? Let's have a look. Chilo yeah, Chiloschista osmoides, one of the leafless plants is flowering. Well, it's not flowering, it's in spike. Let's see if I can move out into the light. But I can't see them, but she says they're there somewhere. Oh, there they are. They, they look like tiny little brown spikes coming out. And she says there's three or four on. Oh, well, I'll take a word for it. There's one there, though. Use the uh, Ascocentra, a uh, Christian Soniernum, which is uh, now uh, opened up. Absolutely beautiful pink colour, this one. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the Ascocentra. Well, I'm back home now, and the weather's still beautiful. There's been one or two things different in the, uh, the little greenhouse. So I'll just finish off here by showing you a couple of things and uh, one of the uh, one of my subscribers rather asked me a question about some little plants stuck in a corner. So we'll have a look at them. And somebody spotted uh, these. And uh, we'll just finish up this video by having a look at this uh, this noid odontoglossum which looks like it's going to be home within the next uh, next week or so so thank you very much for watching uh, look forward to the nicer weather coming in March hopefully and uh, until then thanks to all my subscribers and uh, I'll see you later bye